Hello friends, this video on surface area and volume part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 3. One medical capsule that is in the shape of cylinder with two hemispherical stuck to each of its end. The length of the entire capsule is 14 millimeter and the diameter of each capsule is 5 millimeter. So this says this distance is 5. So this is 2.5 5 by 2 and this is also 2.5 because what this area is nothing but if you see if you break this this is nothing but one cylinder one hemisphere and one hemisphere so this has to be seen like this. this is how the figure is so this radius of this hemisphere I'm talking about HS1 which is cylinder and this is HS2 here the same thing will happen takes the center this becomes 2.5 and this becomes 2.5 correct because the diameter is 5 so radius will be 2.5 so if you see the total length is 14 from 14 you subtract 2.5 and 2.5 that is you say 14 minus 2.5 minus 2.5 that is 14 minus 5 you get 9 so this length from here to here will be 9 degrees so I am just finding the length around nothing nothing I am doing so what we can see that this cylinder was height of the cylinder is 9 or length you can say and the radius of the cylinder is 2.5. Similarly, for these figures, for hemisphere, the radius is this guy is 2.5. Here also, this guy is 2.5. The radius. So what we can see here for cylinder, height is uh, 9, radius is 2.5. For hemispheres, both are same actually, so write only one. Radius is equal to 2.5. This is the data we have got. By observing this carefully, the data we have got is for cylinder height is 9, radius is 2.5. For hemisphere, radius is 2.5. Or in millimeter actually. Now, what did we do? We have to find the surface area. So if you see the surface area of this capsule will be surface area of this hemisphere, this part, not this part. If you see, see, I'll tell you one thing. So, if you take this whole surface area of cylinder, surface area of cylinder is nothing but this is a hemisphere is 2 pi r square is the surface area of this, this part, plus we have this part also. If you, if you find total surface area, you have to add this part also pi r square. But since this part is already hidden, this parts are hidden. So we are not taking this part in either case, not neither in case of cylinder nor in case of hemisphere. So we are taking only the curved part. So we'll say that surface area of capsule is equal to surface area of cylinder, right? Plus two into surface area of hemisphere. Why I went 2 into because there are two hemispheres and both are equal. So I said 2 into surface area of cylinder. So I am taking the curve surface area only. So this becomes surface area of cylinder is what? Pi 2 pi Rh and 2 into surface area of hemisphere is what? 2 pi R. See? So if you see this. There is no overlapping in the curved surface area. This curve is not overlap. This curve is also not overlap. This curve is also not overlap. So we need not subtract anywhere. Correct. So this, these parts were overlapping, but we didn't even take. When we are saying surface area, we are taking the curved surface area of the cylinder. When we are taking surface area of hemisphere, we are taking the curved surface area only of the hemisphere also. So this becomes. So if you see, uh, common is uh, we put the values. 2 into pi into r is 9 
and h is pi by 2 plus 2 into 2 into pi r is pi by 2 into pi by 2 2 2 cancel here also cancel so you get 45 pi plus 25 pi you get 70 pi so let's put the value of pi also so 70 pi 22 pi 7 2 gets cancelled 10 22 into 10 is 220 now since we are talking about millimeter and we are talking about surface area so this becomes millimeter square and that is my answer correct very simple what we have done if you observe this we just first broke this capsule into cylinder and hemisphere then we found the length sorry height and radius of the cylinder and radius of the hemisphere we have all data then we observe this figure carefully and we found that we just need to add the curve surface area of cylinder and hemisphere we added those things and we got the total value as 220 mm square let's take one more example a tent is in a shape of cylindrical surrounded by a conical top the height and diameter of the cylindrical part p 2.1 m and 4 m respectively and the slant height of the top is 2.8 m we have to find the area of canvas used for making tent and also find the cost and it is told that the base of the tent will not be covered as part of canvas so we will draw the figure this is my typical figure this is the tent which is in the shape of cylindrical surrounded by uh, surmounted by a conical top the diameter of the cylindrical part is the diameter and height height and diameter of cylindrical part is 2.1 and 4 so the height is 2.1 correct and the diameter is 4 this guy is 4 so this radius is 2 radius is diameter right and the slant height of the top is 2.8 this guy is 2 so what we see this is nothing but a cone so if you see this clearly this is a cone plus a cylinder we have to find the surface area also we are told that the base of the cone is not contour so this is a hollow here we should not count this so if you only find the curved area of this plus the curved area of this that is the curve area of slender plus curve area of cone how to approach to find the curve area of a cone what you need is formula is pi r l we know r we know l we can find the curve area of the cone to find the curve area of a hemisphere you need 2 pi r h we know r we know h we can find the curve area of the cylinder also so we can say that surface area of tent is equal to surface area of cone plus surface area of cylinder so this becomes pi r l plus 2 pi r h put the values pi r is 2 l is 2.8 plus 2 pi r is 2 and h is 2.1 if you take these values you take 2 by common you get 2.8 plus 2.1 into 2 h so this becomes 2 pi into 2.8 plus this becomes 4.2 you add this this becomes 2.8 plus 4.2 is 7 2 pi into 7 now we'll put the value of pi also 2 into 22 by 7 into 7 cancel this becomes 44 since we are talking about meter and talking about area so this becomes 44 meters square so the surface area is 44 meters square that is done now second question is we have to find the cost of canvas at the rate of 500 rupees per meter square right so it is 
cost per meter square is 500 so you can say that cost of 1 meter square area canvas is equal to 500 therefore cost of in sheet of one it is 44 meter square area canvas so this becomes 500 into 44 this becomes 22000 zero, zero, zero. since it is in rupees so we will say rupees and that is the students please don't ignore the units the meter square rupees and all these units are very crucial if you write here meter square it will be invalid it doesn't make sense because the cost has to be in rupees and surface area has to be in meter square because the length are in meter correct very simple just understand the figure try to find the figure is made up of cylinder or cone or hemisphere or cuboid break that figure into the smaller part and then find surface area and see if there is an overlapping surface area or if there is an empty or hollow surface area you have to subtract we will take one more example thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos Try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.